It's not that there really was anything missing with my train set, my 1981 layout, but um, this is in the catalog. The R421 signal box and level crossing, the Dunster station signal box. So I thought, well, do you know what? Why don't I make it? Because that would go nicely with me Dunster station bridge and the station if I managed to eventually get one. So this has just arrived from eBay. Now if we have a quick look through the box, there's your parts for the level crossing. I don't think I'll bother with the level crossing myself, because um, I've already got a Hornby level crossing. Then you have the parts for the signal box, which if I just lay them out here, we can get a good look at. A couple of them broken off the, off the screws. Very, very simple kit. Probably take about two minutes to bash together. So you've got the inside down and the outside. So most of this is panels that stick on the outside. Um, I'm not going to paint it. I'm going to keep it as it is. So there's all our instructions. That shows you what there is and then how to put it together. And then how to stick the final bits together. So, oh, and there's a little bit. See the, the reflection, the shine there? There's a little bit of acetate or plastic or whatever to do my windows with. Very thin. Um, so, yeah, so that's my Dunster, Dunster signal box and crossing kit. So this is a rebadged town and country box for it going to get started. So using my craft knife I've cut out the main sections, the walls, and removed the flash. Now the flash is, is, is a, bit of a, a bit of a nightmare really. There's not much flash but it's very soft plastic so you've just got to threaten this with a knife and um, <laughs> things kind of like start to go awry anyway it says in the instructions first things first to fit the glazing so i've done that i've put very thin film of polystyrene cement it's humble liquid poly you brush it on push that down so that's there so you can see from the from the good side you've got that little sheen that little reflection i haven't done the bottom one yet so that's nice and easy so it's uh, it's a single sheet of acetate I'll tilt it so you can see it it's very very thin so you've got to got to cut it all up with a craft knife and a ruler but it's easy peasy really so this is all glazed now i'll show you the back you can see how i've stuck it all on and these are the fascia boards that are going to slot into there now the thing with these see i better come back a bit is to check to make sure you've got them so that when you put them in position when you drop them in there in the spaces and glue them they'll be running downwards so the water would run off if it was real wood a bit annoying is the little round circles where they push the kit out of the mold that's on the outside now if i was painting this up it'd be no problem a little bit of filler a little bit of sanding job done paint over but i'm not so that's going to show I'm afraid but for the time being all I've got to do is just clean them up a little bit and then pop these in with a little smidgen of the old humble cement there we go see what I'm doing just just a light dab put the phone down now so don't bugger it up and there we have it that's literally taken me about 30 seconds or so since I switched the camera off after showing you me put a dab of glue on. It's, it's literally so simple a, a five-year-old could do it. Just an aside, I've put the kit down for a minute. This week, I had to go and get my first ever pet of glasses, reading glasses, which I'm finding difficult to open one-handed. So there they go. So you're going to be the first people to see this on a video um in fact i don't think anybody's seen me wear them yet apart from in the shop so here we go because then i can i can make my models a bit better you see because i can see aren't they lovely that should help fill out this uh, <laughs> this video because it's all going so quick and so easy to be fair it's not going to have a have a massive running length well that's the second wall done this is literally so easy. There's no way you could possibly mess that up. 
other than to put those so that they're facing upwards instead of downwards on the slats but it really is that easy right well there we have it Dunster signal box has been built it's taken me 10 minutes 15 minutes something like that going slow taking my time it's a nice looking end result as models go it's not the most complicated or mind-blowingly gorgeous but uh, certainly it's a pleasant little model very easy to make so you don't have to have the dexterity of a concert pianist or the brains of an archbishop or the speed of a thousand gazelles to use all these different analogies it's very easy to make fits together so easily so you've seen how i pop these little panels in and how i put the glazing in i haven't glued down the lid okay the roof or the base because i don't want the base on there because i make my own base and i haven't as yet stuck in this bit in the center so the first floor because if you can see there's no instrument panel that's because your control panel is a fold and cut from here well i think that's a bit cheeky that's a bit rubbish so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this into work i'm going to photocopy that and then fold and stick and pop it in there and i might even get some crayons out if i've still got some crayons i'm not going to buy any but yeah so my my signal box it's the four sides stuck together added on a little bit of guttering there a little bit of guttering opposite corner and the two stickers they're stickers rather than decals we've got a little bit stray there added on a chimney and a radio aerial thing so that slots into place so let me just get rid of that let's let's decide where we're going to put it so where on the layout could it go i think really oh, I can't be silly can i i've got to put it here out with you horn b1 it's got to go there hasn't it so that it's done the signal box Dunster Bridge and my Colling Stage, which is also a kit. So, yeah, that's quite good. And then I, obviously I'll put Dunster Station on there. So, there we have it. Da, 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 da. Marks out of 10. Mm. Ease of assembly. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Just because. Um, you might not spot that the things go pointing the one way um and also putting the gutters on is a bit rubbish the look well it's a two-tone plastic that actually works really nicely and if anything it looks nicer than the the hornby one the standard hornby one you know i think it looks a lot more neutral more more real okay um the design yeah it's nice uh, the quality of the of the kit, yeah, good, yeah. I, I'd say, I mean, overall, I'm 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 thinking, yes, yeah, a nine out of a ten kit to have. The level crossing, I've decided I won't make. I might just pop it on eBay and sell just that bit, or I might keep it just as spares, or in case I decide to use it in the future. Say, I I redo the 1981 kit, you know. Um, do a different layout for that in which in which case yeah, there's a possibility but yeah so there we go dunster signal box done happy with that